Sante Gold was uh, conceived in uh, 2012. It spent uh, the better part of a decade as a small exploration company with its principal asset, the Kubi deposit, uh, south of Amwasi. Uh, last year, we had the opportunity to get control of the Bibiani asset, which is uh, two hours west of Kumasi. Bibiani had been in production from about 1999, and uh, the then Ashanti Goldfields uh, Company Limited, and has changed hands a couple of times. Fabulous ore body, but it was uh, constrained by gold prices. It was constrained by some of the infrastructure that could not be relocated. Uh, and, and as such, it was limited in terms of what could be done. Over the period, you know, we've raised capital, uh, we've refurbished the plant at BBNE, we've invested in getting the pits going again. And uh, today we are actually on the verge of production. It put us in a position to relook at the economics and build a mine that now has a life over nine years. It will produce over two million ounces. And we continue to explore because we expect to see that mine develop over generations, not just the next nine years. When we get control of the Toronto asset, we will have two mines 20 kilometers away. We'll have seven and a half million tons per year production capacity. We'll be producing over 400,000 ounces per year. At a corporate level as well, February of 2021, the market cap was just about $8 million. And the share price was also about uh, seven or so, you know, uh, Canadian cents per unit. Today our market cap is $500 million. Our share price is $1.75. We will be pouring gold within the next three weeks and contributing to the, to the wealth of Ghana as the number one gold producer in, um, in Africa. The company is listed in Canada. We have investors all over the world, but 50% of our investors are Ghanaian. It's ordinary Ghanaians. It's a sovereign funds of Ghana as in the Minerals Income Investment Fund or the Ghana Infrastructure Investment Fund, who together own about 15% of the business. And the rest is really, you know, high net worth individuals, ordinary Ghanaians like you and I, uh, who took a chance on Asante. How the mining industry has evolved, it's been essentially colonialism. This model means that what we generate here will stay here. Asante, I think, is blazing the trail uh, so far as local ownership is concerned. I am one of three expats that work for this company. Everybody else working for this company is Ghanaian. And I've worked around the world, and a lot of the expats that I've hired around the world, and I'm talking 30%, have been Ghanaian. People in this country are highly educated, great work ethic, really nice people to be around and work with. One of the great things that um, are part of our development is the opportunity to continue with good work done by the former owner that was Resolute. Uh, they came on board in 2014 and put together a comprehensive um, community relations program that includes scholarships. I think we have over 75 scholarships for people to take advanced education. We have the situation where, you know, basic education is free and all of that, but then people are unable to transition from the senior high school level into university. So what we've done as a company is started focusing on that where full scholarships are now provided to, you know, brilliant but needy students from within a, a catchment area. They have adopted one of our schools, a BC school, and when you go there, it's a school of uh, excellence. Asante Gold has provided us with many infrastructures, such as tables and chairs, Exercise books, test books, cadets, uniforms, and also introduced band squad, which helped to tap out the talent of students, including me. They also give allowances to teachers here. At the end of the year, when Christmas packages are being given out to workers, our teachers are also giving some of these packages. If you want to really transform an 
economy or a community. Education of the people there is critical. So we've invested quite significantly. We support the local soccer team, the Gold Stars. Men seem good. I more supportive. And I'm financially in infrastructure. So Asante good, I will take you over. The team don't have any problems in terms of paying salaries, winning bonuses, and then other other things. The mines is doing so so well. We have a bus and so many things that they do to support the community. Broadly, sports development in schools and all of that is an area we're looking at. There's even on the agriculture side. mature mines in Ghana and in West Africa that some of the majors, some of the colonial miners, uh, don't want to have anything to do with anymore. They want to get out while the getting's good. We're quite happy to go into those operations, identify what needs to be done to bring them up to first class status and continue to operate them for decades. Those opportunities exist and that's how we're going to grow the company. 